Hey, this is just a little demo of this uh, PFSense web appliance that I found, or uh, you call it a security appliance. Um, it's really lightweight. It only requires about 128 megs of RAM and like under 100 megahertz CPU and uh, like 512 megabytes of uh, compact flash. You can actually download the uh, web appliance or the, the appliance and it's only about 100 megabytes for data size so it's actually really small. Um, I reinstalled the newer version of it on our uh, vSphere server so I bumped up the settings just slightly. I added an extra Nix and uh, it's got 256 megs of RAM but still really lightweight. I also added uh, a second core and I'm using it as a uh, VPN concentrator it also has like firewall functionality, routing, uh, authentication services that um, you can hook it into radius, all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's pretty lightweight. I'm gonna log in here. It's got this web interface, and uh, it's it's got a really clean layout. This is version 2.0, but you can add other uh, widgets to the um, to the the dashboard here. It's got uh, Firewall settings where you can set up your um, net rules for all your different circumstances to grant access. It's got tons of services DHCP relay, DNS forwarding, dynamic DNS. It's kind of like a DDWRT setup, but um, it, it seems like it's got a lot more richer enterprise features even than DDRWRT. So I have it set up right now under um, to offer PPT service or PPTP um, services and um, just so I can connect to the office remotely, but it doesn't actually, this, is, this doesn't route all the internet traffic, it just routes um, just the in-office traffic. Um, it's, I have it hooked up to a Radius uh, which, server, which is um, set up on network protection server on Windows 2008 um, it's pretty simple it also supports you know local users or you can you you know set up LDAPT or LDAP um, and it's got open VPN so you can do uh, I have a VPN set up over port 443 so you can get behind you know firewalls that don't block um, you know, PP, PPTP connections, which a lot of firewalls do, or many of them don't support many connections behind a NAT uh, per IP address. So I'm just going to show you right now it's connected as a PPTP. So I'm going to disconnect. And I can't obviously load the uh, web page anymore. But I'm also going to show you the. Uh, VPN client or the VPN SSL client. Really Uger. This is also authenticating through Radius um, using SSL. Takes a couple seconds, then pull the pull the IP address so we're connected again. And very, uh, you know, connected again. I've only played with this for about two days. It seems uh, really solid, and it has a real big, strong community for it. Add. Let's do VPN. Shows the uh, current connection. It also has um, certificate manager where you can actually revoke certificates. Uh, so here's our client side certificates that are set up right now, and you can put your revoked um, certificates in there to, you know, stop access. 
It also has a lot of um, like authentication test tools and different diagnostic tools you can use to um, test different scenarios. It works pretty well. It's got backup and restore functionality. And it's so small that you can put it on a network appliance on really any machine and it works really well. But I um, just thought I'd share that. That's it.